Well, thank you, Mr. Chairman and Director. Welcome. Um, I have a couple of questions. I heard you in your opening testimony say that you uh, administer 500 laws and maybe as many as 3,000. 400 for ICER, 3,000 is what I was, or thousands more right. uh, with respect yeah. as you So there are a lot of laws and um, that you're responsible for enforcing. You've also had a couple of actions uh, by the president, one for deferred action of uh, parents of Americans or legal permanent residents, uh, DAPA and, and DACA, deferred action for uh, childhood arrivals that you, the, the president has uh, ordered as actions. Um, it's created a certain amount of confusion too, I think, uh, with some of the, the line officers um, as to what they're supposed to enforce, whether the law uh, or these actions, um, what are they supposed to enforce? They're supposed to enforce all the immigration laws, uh, Congressman. The, the laws what? would take precedent, precedent over the pres president's uh, action requests? We, as I mentioned over with respect to yeah. those difficult decisions I had as United States Attorney, uh, Congressman, mm -hmm. we have focused the uh, attention of all of our officers, uh, the 5,000 or so well, that I mentioned, to focus on those uh -huh. uh, most who most threaten our national security and But there is safety. confusion. In fact, I've got a release from the National Border Patrol Council, and they said uh, they were concerned about the president's threats or cons for consequences for border patrol agents. That's what this says. It said when the president was in my state, Miami, uh, recently, he said there would be consequences. So uh, some of the border patrol, uh, again, are uh, concerned about that what those consequences would be. What are the consequences for noncompliance that they face? And as I mentioned, Congressman, uh, Border Patrol is our sister agency. They're the folks at the border right. and the ports of entry. I'm responsible for ICE, and this is what we've done with respect to clearing any confusion that there is. We've required very specific training uh, to have been completed, be completed by 100%. Not 98, 96, well, 95, but 100% of all. The president said, I have his quote, if somebody's working for ICE and there's a policy and they don't follow the policies, there's going to be consequences to it. So he res referred specifically to those you have control over. My point is uh, there is confusion about enforcement. Uh, there is confusion about, confusion about what takes precedent. The other thing, too, is you testified that uh, about the number of deportations, domestic deportations. You said 2,000, I'm sorry, how many uh, domestic deportations in um, 2014? I believe I said that number was, um, let me just get that. I think it was. Well, pa while you look for that, the administration has, uh, and the president has said that we've, uh, we've had more deportations in the past six years of criminals they're up 60%. Uh, we have conflicting information. Put up this, uh, this chart that shows, and I updated the chart that shows the, uh, the de deportations, uh, interior deportations, domestic. And that should be one, uh, this isn't quite to the end, so it was 102 to be, 100,002 to be fair. That actually shows a decline, is that correct? Over those, that period of time, that is. And I That's see that- That's last year. And I see that the source is ICE. I'm not sure what in, in particular, but I think those Again, are numbers you got so, from us. So uh, it's actually declined. I mean, the, you're, not, uh, you're not saying this, this information is wrong. No, sir. OK. The other thing, too, is um, we were recently told that uh, from one of the officers, uh, ICE officers, that hit, his office that processes as many, used to process as many as 100 aliens a day, but since the president's executive orders went into effect, they're now processing five to 10 aliens a day. That means that they're spending 20 times as much in resources, because you have similar resources, to deport each alien. Uh, is that the case? 
I, I'm not familiar with those numbers that well, you're again, quoting. Well, we're, again, uh, we're also deporting fewer. Uh, if you do the math, uh, it's costing us more to deport fewer folks. Uh, and, and I think you and the American public deserve a, a response to that, sir. We do. That, we do. There is, there, as you know, and this is good news, Customs and Border Protection has been apprehending uh, far fewer persons at the border this past year than they ever have. They're at 24%, 24% decline in apprehensions at the border. That should be good news. I know that the uh, Mexico and other countries mm -hmm. uh, that I visited since I've been with uh, the department have uh, ramped up their efforts to try to stop people before they come into the United but States. But the fact is, as the chairman pointed out, we're harboring, keeping, and releasing uh, criminal uh, illegal aliens. Uh, and uh, not taking care of that important aspect. Thank you.